Hi, I'm Eleanor Brody. I'm an artist, a teacher, and professional costume maker. In this video, I'm going to show you substitutions I use for pattern paper. I forgot to say that you don't have to be stuck because you don't have exactly the right kind of paper on hand. There's so many other options available, and I'm going to show them to you. I make my own patterns all the time. Now, I based this one on the Hong Kong mask, which I downloaded and printed from the internet. I took the basics stapled it to something a little bit stronger in the back so it would hold up. And then I adapted it into this pattern right here. We can see I made this all in one piece and added a clear plastic insert. I used basic craft paper to make this pattern. You can use this gridded type of pattern paper. I find that it's a little bit expensive and also that it's not very strong. I like something with a little more heft to it because I erase aggressively. Commercial patterns are made on tissue paper, which kind of falls apart the minute you breathe on it. When I use these types of patterns, and I know I'm going to have to use them more than once, I like to stabilize them, so I'll either transfer them to another kind of paper or back it with something else. This one is standard printed paper. Here are some other substitutions I have used for pattern paper. Butcher paper, drawing paper or sketch paper, scrap fabric or an old sheet, wrapping paper, tar paper. One of my favorite substitutions, though, is the classic paper grocery bag. They're free, they're sturdy, and I usually have a bunch lying around, so... Got a little noisy here. I am pulling the glued seam open all the way to the bottom. Iron it out, and you've got fresh, new-to-you pattern paper. So take a look around and see what you have on hand that you might be able to use to make patterns. You have so many more tools than you think, and you're much more capable than you know. Thank you so much for joining us, and please come back for future videos.